in times like these, written in 1943. It seems so appropriate that in this day and age, there's a song entitled, In Times Like These. Ruth K. Jones was born in Pennsylvania and crafted both the words and the music. Early in life, she taught herself to play the piano and organ, then married a pastor and raised five children. She also had something a little unusual, her own radio minister, ministry, a program that broadcast each week from their home. And that broadcast was entitled, In Times Like These. Her son, Bert, Bert, wrote a letter about his mother writing this particular song. He said, Mother wrote this song during the dark days of World War II with the words of 2 Timothy 3 and 1 in mind. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. The song was written in our family home in the Dormont area of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Inspiration for the words and music came very spontaneously as she was in the middle of her housework, actually doing the ironing. She took a water paper from her apron pocket, jotted down the words and melody and harmony. When I came home from school, high school that day, Mother said, Bert, you must try a new song the Lord gave me today. As I played the song for the first time and our family group sang it several times, we never dreamed how far the song would go to bless other people. It has been frequently used in the Billy Graham Crusades. A very special high point for Mother came on the closing day of the Crusades at Columbus, Ohio, when George Beverly Shea asked her to sit on the platform and he introduced her to the crowd before singing the song. Uh, the last verse in this song just, just says, in times like these, I have a savior. In times like thee, I have an anchor. I have, I'm very sure, I'm very sure my anchor holds and grips the solid rock. And we know that the solid rock is none other but Jesus. In times like these.